Hi guys, today I'll be showing you one of the best transfer apps for 2018 and 19 to import and export files between your Mac and your iOS devices. This app is called Mac X Media Trends here. This app is without a doubt one of the most useful apps with full transfer support features that I have ever used. It should be noted that in the past I used to show you this app before but at that time it's for Windows computer but this time it's for Mac computer. As you can see here there are seven awesome transfer features that this app supports. You can transfer photos, music, videos, books, voice memos and ringtones. You can also use it as a flash drive and last but not least you can also use this app to encrypt or decrypt a file to prevent an author access okay let me go through each feature to show you as an example let's start with the first feature which is photo transfer here so first before you can see what's inside your iOS device like iPhone or iPad or iPod you must connect it through the cable like mine here these are the photos inside my iPhone you have the option to select all and when you copy it out you can copy it with encryption which means no one can see the photo unless they type in the correct password or just without encryption like that you click export it's here it's very fast you can also delete photos if in case you want to add a new album you click here you type in the photo album name let's say test it for this you can add photo but for the camera roll you cannot add any photo it's similar to using itunes once you add photo into this you cannot delete through your phone so you add it and click synced and then you're done but being able to transfer photos from your ios devices quickly back to your mac is really awesome and you can see they categorize your photo albums into different types like selfies live photos portrait and so on you can see and like i said earlier the cool feature with this is here you can export with encryption which means once you export let me show you an example i click export with encryption and then i click export here you go back you see they asked me to apply changes just click yes here you go to this one data security you can see data encryption and data decryption when you add anything to it the first time let's say i have some files on my desktop click open the encrypt is right here and if you want to decrypt just add file select like this too click open so these two files no one can see it unless they type in the right password click decrypt they ask you to type in the password the password that you have set from the beginning you want to see the password go to preferences here data security you can see here this is the place where you can remove password or add password to it but let's say at the moment that i want to decrypt these two files so i just click decrypt now type in the right password and click ok it start decrypting done that is data security and photo transfer. Let's move on to the next one, which is called Music Manager. You click on it, just as its name suggests, you can transfer music back and forth between your Mac computer and your iOS devices. Let's say I want to create an album first before I add some music into it. So I put a new album playlist called, let's say, My Favorite. Click on it and I click add music so you can add file or folder it's up to you i just click add file here and go and find where i have saved or store my files of music so i click on desktop music so i have four songs here i select it and click open now it's inside my iphone so just click sync here so that it will be transferred into my iphone just click synced just wait for it and it's done very quick that's music and again you can delete any music from here you can even edit the name of it you can like i said earlier export back to your computer i said this is your friend's iphone you want his music from his music app this is how you do it you can delete any music you want to let's say i want to delete the first one just click delete click ok and always remember the next step you click delete to confirm that action you have to click synced if you don't whatever you did earlier will not work so just click synced done now the music is gone that's music feature let's move back 
you can also transfer videos same thing let's say you want to add video with encryption when you add do not add encryption here just untick it because you don't want to type in the password but when you export you can also encrypt but when you export you can encrypt it if you want to so let's add some video i have one here click open again always remember to sync done click on it you have the ability to export it back to your computer you can also delete this video if you ask me where will this video file go to it will go into the videos app so right now they don't say videos app anymore they change the name to apple tv app so that app is already on your home screen by default unless you remove it if you remove it you can go back to app store and download it back you will see this video file inside that app that's video as you can see, my iPhone is running the latest iOS 12.1. So it supports all the latest firmwares. You don't have to worry. It supports even iPhone XS, iPhone XS Max, iPhone X, 8, 7, 6, and whatever iOS devices you have. It all supports. It even shows you the battery of your iOS device. And also the iTunes you're running on your Mac computer. And this is, you can see the free memory I have left. Let's move to another feature called Book. This is basically for Book transfer you can add epub pdfs or audio books i have some epub books here so it's just add it right here click open these are the books and again if you go to your ibooks app click synced done very simple like that you can again you want to delete anything they have the option at the top here you want to export back you can export just click export or export book to pdf that's book feature next is called voice and ringtone so if you have any ringtones in your iphone already you can also transfer it back you can add voice memo if you have copy into your iphone you can also even copy podcasts as well so currently i only have ringtones i don't have any voice memo so let's say i want to add some more ringtones into it just click add ringtone here so the extension of ringtone file that will work on ios device is m4r let me select two of these click open now it's here same thing just click synced done that is voice memo and ringtone last but not least is flash drive so again, as its name suggests, basically you can use your iPhone or iPad or iPod as a flash drive as well. But again, it only works with this app if you use it between Macs, computer. So you have to have this app installed so that it will recognize. So you can add anything to it, any file you want to add. It's just like a flash drive, normal flash drive. You can even create a new folder here. Say I want to create a new folder called test it. Click OK. It's right here. You can double click into it and you can add some files or folders that's up to you let's say add some files into it let's say add all of it click open start importing files all of these files are here as a flash drive click return it become like a flash drive go back click back in you see test it here you can see the files which just work like a flash drive but again like i said earlier to be able to use it in another computer make sure you have this installed luckily these apps support not just for mac computer but also for windows computer you can download the windows computer version of this app it's the same so if you ask me how much would this app cost with these really awesome features like this you can go to its website together i have included the link to its website in the description below this is the look of the website. You can even go to buy more products from this company. You click buy here, it will show you the price. You can see it's about both Mac and Windows. So this is price for one year license, $29.95. For lifetime license, it's just only $5 different. So you should consider buying it. This is for family license, $65.95. The price for window is the same and you can see it is a running special offer so this price you can see that's the promotion price it's at 29.95 after this time is expired it would be back to its original price at 39.95 okay let me show you the proofs on my iphone here let's start with the video you can see i have a tv app you go there you click on home videos you can see this click on it you can play it and if you go to books here books you click on library you can see these are all the books that I have just transferred into my iPhone just click this one yeah that's the book let's go to my ringtones 
Boom sounds, ringtone. You can see at the bottom, they have Strangers, and above that, Romantic Shaky and Remax Titanic. That's the two I have transferred into my phone. It's right there. Okay, that's it guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you like the video, please give us a thumbs up, comment down below, and subscribe for more useful videos in the future. Have a great day guys. See you in the next video.